Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech. Today in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure primary DNS server on Windows Server 2022. What is DNS? DNS is domain name system, it is 0 to 63 character name space. DNS map IP address to host name and host name to IP address. DNS are three type. Primary DNS. Secondary DNS. Stub. Primary DNS server is the first point of contact for a browser, application, or device that needs to translate a human readable host name into an IP address. The primary DNS server contains a DNS record that has the correct IP address for the host name. Right now in this video we will install and configure primary DNS on this server. This is our server manager. Our computer name is, Node1. This server is member of default workgroup. Our Ethernet 0 IP address is 172.16.0.1. Let's click on IP address. Go to Ethernet Properties. Select TCP IP version 4 and select Properties. Here you have to keep one thing in mind. Our IP address and the IP address of preferred DNS will be the same. Click OK. Click Close. Close Network Connections. Click on Dashboard. Click Add Roles and Features. Click Next. Select Role Based and Feature Based Installation then click Next. Let's select DNS Server. Click Add Features. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click on Reboot the Server Automatically, if required. Click Yes. Click Install. It will take some time to install DNS server role. Our DNS server role installed. Click close. Now I am going to configure DNS. Click tools. Click DNS. Select node 1. Node 1 is our computer name as I earlier said. Expand node 1. DNS have two type of zones. Forward lookup zone and reverse lookup zone. Forward lookup zones allow the DNS server to resolve queries, where the client sends a name to the DNS server to request the IP address of the requested host. Now I am going to create primary domain name. Right click on forward lookup zone then click new zone. Click next. Here the primary zone is already selected. So we'll do the next without changing anything. Click next. Type the domain name. stb.local Click next. Create a new zone file or use an existing one from a different DNS server. Click next. You select how your server will respond to dynamic updates. I will choose allow both non-secure and secure dynamic updates. Click next. Click finish. Expand forward lookup zone. Reverse lookup zones perform the opposite task as forward lookup zones. They return the fully qualified domain name, FQDN, of a given IP address. For example, a client could send the IP address of 172.16.0.1 to a DNS server. If the server hosted a reverse zone that included that IP address, it would return the FQDN for that address, such as www.stb.local. Now I am going to configure reverse lookup zone. Right click on reverse lookup zone, select new zone. Click next. Primary is already selected. Click Next. In the first reverse lookup zone name page, select IPv4, click Next. 
Type the network ID. Click Next. Click Next. Allow both secure and non-secure dynamic updates. Click Next. Click Finish. Our reverse lookup zone is configured. So now this time to create new DNS records. Right click on stb.local and select new host A. Input host name and IP address you'd like to add. Example, node 1. Set the IP address of 172.16.0.1. Check a box create associated pointer, PTR, record. Click add host, click OK. Now again a create new host A. Our host A name is www. Set the IP address of 172.16.0.1. Click add host, click OK. Click Done. Our host A records is created. Create a new alias record. Right click on stb.local and select new alias C name. Type the alias name, example server. Click Browse. Double click on node 1. Double click forward lookup zone. Double click stb.local. Here we will choose the record we want to alias. Click OK. Server is alias name of node 1. Now I am going to create new mail exchanger record. Right click on stb.local. Select new mail exchanger mx record. Type the name of host name and child domain. Node 1. Here the name of the direct mail server can also be given. And you can also select the server by click on browse. Select server. Click OK. Click OK. Our mail server record is created. Select reverse lookup zone. Right click and click refresh. As you can see out both record is updated in reverse lookup zone. That's all in this video. In the next video of DNS, we will know how to configure secondary DNS. So viewers in this video you can learn in this video how to install and configure DNS, DNS records on Windows Server 2022. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.